Interestingly, I think there are more men involved in attending. The fact of the matter is, women are no less able, no less intelligent, no less capable of getting on in politics than men are. So the fact that we don't always have, broadly speaking, gender balance says that there are systemic institutional barriers to women progressing, a systemic institutional barrier to systemic institutional barriers to women progressing. And Second thing, and I, I speak, I suppose, very much from the perspective of Scotland and the UK here, and it would be true in, in other countries uh, like us, I, I think we have to, uh, and this is why Heather's work is so hugely important, reach across the generations yeah. and the genders. Yeah. I, I had a conversation with a, a young man uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, 19 years old, you know, lovely young man, I'm, I know we say who he is, but it's a young man I'm very fond of, it's somebody I know very well, um, and, you know, very progressive liberal attitudes and everything else and had a conversation with him about feminism um, and he articulated to me his view of feminism from the perspective of a young man growing up today and his view was very much that well women have equal rights and sometimes it now feels to me as a young man that feminism is about you know trying to undermine my rights now you know that's just not how but, but if that was coming to me from him as a young man today, then that says we've still got a lot of work to do and we've probably got to think about how we do that now across the generations and the genders. Systemic institutional barriers to women progressing. To the refugee crisis. And so now, perhaps more than ever, we need strong, positive, resolute voices from all faiths and all nationalities which unite to oppose discrimination and which celebrate understanding, compassion and diversity. It helps individuals and promotes interfaith relations. It plays a positive role in Europe, in Scottish national life and in the local communities it represents. So I'm delighted to be here tonight to help to celebrate the work of the society, but much more importantly than that, to celebrate Scotland's wonderful diversity and to promote and to dedicate myself and my government to working with all of you to continue to strengthen our interfaith relationships and the strength and the diversity of this wonderful country that all of us are proud to call home. It, it, probably over the last few years actually I've, I've become conscious of uh, you know, the way I behaved when I was a much younger woman in, in, politi in politics and, and looking back on it um, you know, as a young woman in politics, even more so than is the case today, I would be surrounded most of the time by, no offence to anybody in this audience who's about to fall into the category I'm going to describe, um, <laughs> middle-aged white men. Uh, difficult. I mean, I, we were chatting earlier on and I was... So, uh, can I preface my, my answer here by recognising the people in this audience who support Scottish independence, people who passionately oppose Scottish independence, who knows, there might even be some people who don't have an opinion, although that is, <laughs> is perhaps less likely, although that is, <laughs> is perhaps less likely. Um, I, we, I was chatting to Elif earlier on and saying, if I could turn the clock back for 90 years to uh, the establishment of my party, uh, and choose its name all over again, I wouldn't choose the name it's got just now. I would call it something other than the Scottish National Party. Now, you know, what those of us who, who do support Scottish independence are all about, it could not be further removed from some of what you would recognise as yeah. nationalism in other parts of the world. I mean, I believe, for example, two things that I believe that I think run so strongly through the Scottish independence movement are firstly that it doesn't matter where you come from. If Scotland is your home and you live here and you feel you have a stake in the country, mm -hmm. you are Scottish and you have as much say over the future of the country as, as I do. The world that is so far removed from no, what you would find no, were perhaps all no, or here, no, you know, waking up to now, no, is that we've taken for granted that certain, you know, uh, certain progress that we've made over...